We're trying to find out what's happening in Gort. What's the story in the town? I have no idea. We're just passing through. Just passing through, but that's good enough for me. We have come to Gort here in South Galway today to find out what's happening. It was once called Little Brazil. Is that still the case? Well, the Today Show are here to find out. Somebody told me, I don't know if it's true or not, that actually on your local GAT team, there's a Brazilian player. There was a, a young fella here and he was a very, Leonardo, very, yes, exactly, yeah, I knew him, uh, he's actually back in Brazil now, but he's very good hurler, very, very good, a uh, lot of promise in him and he was... Good looking chap too, I heard. <laughs> yeah, um, he was talk of the town for a good while. If only there was some way we could track him down. Hey, look who I found! And I didn't have to look far. I just went to the local GAA pitch. Do you think I could make it? You can make it, yeah. You liar. <laughs> Get me now, man. Leonardo is originally from Brazil and now plays on the senior guard team. And he agreed to show me a few moves. God, look at the state of me. We are out in St. Coleman's Club, just outside Gort, with Leonardo. And you're from Brazil? I'm from Brazil, yeah, that's when right. When did you move over here? I came to Ireland, I uh, was around three years old, that was in 2000. And is there still a big community of Brazilians here in uh, Gort? There was more back in the day, like 2009, but most of them went back to Brazil. But uh, they're kind of, there's, there's, you, if you go around town now, you'll see quite a few already now. Next stop, the local hardware store, which is also a bar. How many hardware shops in the country have a bar at the back of them? Not too many now. Mm. One time, it was quite common. A farmer would come in during the winter half nine, ten o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Oh my God, he said, I had a terrible calving case last night. I'm frozen, can I have a hot whiskey in the bottle of porter? And that would be it. Or hence, during the summer, a farmer would come in trading his wool. And he would say, oh, the perspiration. Give me a pint of shandy, please. And that would be it, but those days are gone. But isn't it great that you've preserved this back here? I see all the memorial cards as well, but these have been customers yeah, from over the customers years. Yeah, we've been and some great friends and yeah. great characters and great people, I must say. I'll take a glass of that now before I go, right? You have to pay for it first. Oh, I'll pay for it up front, <laughs> on the budget. <laughs> Next, we're heading just outside Gort and to the place that inspired so many of WB Yeats' poems, Cool Park. And there I'm meeting local nun, Sister de Lourdes Fahey. So Sister de Lourdes, this is a place that you would have come many times over the years. That's right. I was born about uh, near Thor Lee, which is about four miles from here. And my parents, my grandparents were tenants of the Gregory's. And we're standing here in the middle of Cool Park. We have the, the beautiful lake not too far away that of course inspired the great W.B. Yeah, Yeats poem. Wild swans at Cool, yes. Mm -hmm. He said he knew the edges of that lake better than any place else in the world. Wow. The tree here, we're at a copper beech tree. Copper beech tree, uh, very, very old. The Gregory's had a habit of bringing back trees from all over the world. They call it the autograph tree. The autograph tree. Now with the passing of time, it's time. difficult to make out the initials, but it they're all marked is, there. Yeah, but they're all there. Theodore Spicer Simpson, George Bernard Shaw, John Macefield, William Butler Yeats, Lady Gregory. So everyone who was anyone, as it were. Well, sister, it's been great meeting you here at the tree and I think it's time we carve your name into it. So you're up there with the greats, how about that? Back in the town and our final pit stop today is Sullivan's Hotel in the middle of Gorse. And in at the bar is the owner John Sullivan. That must be the famous, or infamous, I don't know which it is, John Sullivan. Well, you're correct there, Colum. Anyway, I don't know about the famous bit. The hotel is over 170 years old and over the years has played host to some very impressive guests. We played host to various dignitaries, including the Crown Prince and Princess of Japan. Uh, along with that, we played a large part in the visit of Charles and Camilla when they came to uh, La Coutre Estate last May 12 months. Uh, a well-known Kerry man, I believe, who was very fond of roses, not just the, the chocolate type, I believe. I wonder who on earth that could be. Anyway, we'd had a great day in Gort, and just before we were about to leave, John said he had a surprise for us. I think you're going to really enjoy this, and will your viewers as well. Can you okay. give me a hint? Uh, it might involve tripping the light fantastic. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> South Galway style. Yeah. Let's go, let's check it out. He brought us downstairs in the hotel, and we couldn't believe what was waiting for us. Look at this!
These talented dancers are all part of the Gavin Dance Academy, and recently a video of them performing this dance went viral online, receiving hundreds of thousands of hits. We had such a good time in your town, thank you so much, Gorsh!